Hi folks, in this video we will be learning about the intracellular receptors. Now as the name suggests, the intracellular receptors are located within the cell. So they can either be located in the cytoplasm or in the nucleus and they are further named according to their location. So you can have cytosolic receptor or your nuclear receptor. So any ligand which has to bind to these receptors needs to enter through the cell membrane and therefore should be lipophilic. Now let us look at the structure of this receptor. This receptor as the halo denotes has the ability to bind to genes. So once they bind to the gene, they either facilitate or repress their expression. But it doesn't always do so. That is because HSP90, another protein, inhibits this receptor from attaining the configuration which is required to, active, to get activated and further activate the gene. Now the carboxy terminal of this receptor is where the ligand binds. So let's see what happens when a ligand binds to the receptor. The receptor dimerizes once a ligand binds to the receptor and kicks out the HSP90. This activated receptor then moves into the nucleus. But at the gate of the nucleus, it finds a gatekeeper, which can either be a co-activator or co-repressor, and it goes and binds to this recept dimerized receptor complex. Now, this entire dimerized complex with the co-activator or co-repressor goes into the DNA and either act, uh, facilitates or represses the expression of the gene. This will lead to transcription into mRNA. And further, this mRNA gets translated into proteins. Now, all this is happening at the amino terminal of the receptor. This protein further leads to the actions. Now, what are the drugs which act through this mechanism? You need to remember the OID drugs. So, that is your retinoid, your steroid and your thyroid hormones. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and share. Subscribe for more videos.